See who jumps in this stream here. We got one person watching. Got any comments? There we go, a couple crosses fishing. What's going on? Outdoors addiction. <laughs> a lot of a lot of fishing. Jason True Blood. One ton. What's up, man? How you guys doing? Kentucky Catman Outdoors. Mr. Tim Molina. You missed a good one today, Tim. We tore him up, man. Uh 32 pounds was the biggest fish of the day. First fish of the day was 23 pounds. And uh, we caught a few in between. Avid Fisherman, Anthony, 956G. Doing good, man. Thank you for asking. Fernando, what's going on, man? Little Vinny X. Not much. Hanging out in a hotel room. I'm out here uh, guiding. Yeah, I saw some pics on Facebook. Yeah, thank you. Roger Anderson, how you doing? Chris Morris. Uh, the new rod. Hopefully in February, if all goes as planned, I should have them then. You have a opened it already, huh? <laughs> uh, well, no, we're going to build this up. Snow, huh? They're saying snow tomorrow? Man, I didn't see that. I saw it might be windy. Let me check my forecast real quick. Yeah, it's looking kind of windy. I don't see snow. Maybe up in Albuquerque? Hopefully no snow. Man. Mark, what's going on? Mike Turner, the Weekend Angler. You want one of these shirts? Man, hit me up, man. You know I'll get you one. Uh, let's see here. Mark wants to know what my favorite rod brand is. Mm, that's a tough one, man. What do you guys think? I'll see if you guys can figure that one out. San Jose Cali. Daniel, welcome to the stream. <laughs> uh, that's Elijah right there, right? <laughs> Big cat fever, he says. <laughs> Ugly stick. No, keep guessing, keep guessing. Blue cat rod, there you go. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> we can angle just uh, says Shakespeare, huh? <laughs> so anyways, guys, the reason I'm going live is because a Dollar Tree brand. <laughs> Walmart special, yeah. <laughs> if I could only use one hook size, probably like a 5-0. I think, I think a 5-0 would, uh, would handle... I guess it just depends on the time of year, but like right now, I can, I'm, having, I'm throwing smaller baits. I can use a 5-0 hook and still catch a decent-sized fish. Um, but I'm throwing 7s seven, and 8s right now, and anything in between now you know what i'd probably say maybe a seven knot would be good seven knot circle hook chicken liver chum bait man that's some old school stuff this guy he's a he's a fan from the beginning that's awesome 59 people watching reason i went live is because of this box right here guys i don't know if you can read that or not ricky's creations sent me this uh package in the mail and i had no clue I just received it, so I figured I, I would open it live with you guys. Hopefully, that's all right. Hello Kitty Rod. That's it right there, man. You got it. How did you know? Smokey's AZ Projects, Arizona, Phoenix. I like Phoenix, man. What's in the box? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. That's what everybody wants to know. <laughs> yeah, Ricky is awesome, man. He, I've seen some of the stuff he's done for other YouTubers, and uh, I can only imagine what's in that box, man. Open it, he says. We're all waiting. I'm going to make you guys wait. I had to wait. I had to wait all week, and actually, I think I got it Friday. I think I got it Friday, and I, I just I said, no, nah, I'll take it with me so I can open it up when uh, when I have some time to go live. So I got finished with my guide earlier today, and... Got checked into the hotel and went and got something to eat and stuff. and So now I'm just hanging out. 
I can see good as seven. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Today was today was nice for us. It was still Alejandro. ¿Cómo estás, amigo? Saludos. It was it was okay. It was still kind of cold out, but uh, it wasn't as bad as last weekend. Last weekend, when I was driving up to the lake, there's a checkpoint. Uh, check station we actually uh, if you guys aren't from around here we have immigration checkpoints that you have to drive through and and state your citizenship so uh but at that checkpoint it's about i think it's about seven eight miles out out of town from where i live no i probably a little further but anyways it was eight degrees when i passed through there when i got to the lake it was 13 degrees uh this morning when i got here i think it was like 24 20, 24 degrees so it was a little bit warmer where am I now? <clears throat> I'm in a hotel room at Elephant Butte Reservoir. Um, so when I guide on the weekends, I'll uh, I'll stay at a hotel so I don't have to drive back and forth. It's an hour drive from my house to the lake and back. Uh, let's see, where we at? Ford Raven, what's going on? <clears throat> I want to see if Ricky jumps in here. Chris Morris, can out-of-state fi people fish at the dam? Yes, <clears throat> yes. The, the the section from, if you're familiar with the lake from the island, which is they call the reason it's called Elephant Butte is that island resembles an elephant. From there, back towards the dam, you can fish if you're from out-of-state because the state park does not own that section of land. It's federal land, and anybody can go there. Now, Anything past that is all state parks, and you're not allowed to be on it if you're from out of state. Does the lake ice up? No, not not really. Up in the north end, when the water where the water's coming in, it'll get a little bit of ice. But I'm I'm talking like maybe a quarter inch or something like that, and you can you drive through it with my boat, whatever. But the lake will never freeze over over here. Fishing and stuff. Today we're gonna open up this box. And see what's inside. <laughs> That's my buddy right there, man. You guys check out his channel. He'll make anything out of anything. Fishing Hippie. How you doing, man? <laughs> hey, one ton. Just to let you know, I'm still, I haven't forgotten about your hoodies. Uh, my guy's still working on it. He said, it, uh, last I heard, they should be in on Monday. And he'll start working on them. So, Tiger Muskie, what's going on, man? Uh, can I kiss the camera? <laughs> Bill, Brim, thank you, man. How's the water level? Water level is going up slowly. It's nowhere near where it needs to be. Um, this time last year, I was fishing, if you know the lake, I was, I was fishing way past um, Monticello boat ramp. And right now, as the lake sits, you can't get, you can't even get near the boat ramp. You you can maybe get to three sisters and and you're starting to bottom out. So, Rio Medina, Texas, David, how you doing, man? Ah, uh, there's the man, <laughs> Ricky's Creations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was waiting for that guy to get in here so we could open this up and see what's going on. Have I ever fished in Southern Illinois? No, I can't say. What I can't. Well. Uh, I'm not too familiar with how all that works, but I know Steve Douglas and I went up there one time on the Ohio River, but I don't know if what, where we were at, because I know all, all those little states kind of tie into the corner right there somehow. But, uh, yeah, Owensboro, Kentucky. David, how you doing, man? 915 Fishing. Yes, sir. The weekend angler. Let's change it sometime this year in my neck of the woods. Let's go fishing, man. That'd be awesome. Keith Keller, how you doing? <laughs> Everybody's waiting for that surprise unboxing, huh? Yeah. Well, you guys are going to have to wait a long time because it is 6.37 right now, my time. And I don't go to bed till like about 11 o'clock. So I got nothing else to do. So we're just going to chat till about... 10:59, and then open the box. Now I'm just joking, man. You guys all jump off and then come back and <laughs> leave me here by myself. 
Oh man. Yeah, you guys want to see what's in this box? So do I, man. Let's see. Let me see who else jumps in here. <laughs> oh man, that's too funny. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. It's on your bucket list. Ohio for catfish. Yeah, there's some big ones in there. I know there are. What's the best bait for channel catfish? Chicken liver chum bait, man. Try it. Looks like an exciting box. It is, man. Check it out. So, he's got here, right here, his name. As you can see, Ricky's Creations 1. If you guys don't know who he is, check him out. That's his YouTube channel right there. And then check check it out. He's got the, the go play button on there, man. Bam! And it's that way all the way around. <laughs> that is way too cool, man. Hey, Ricky, I appreciate you, man. I don't know what's in that box, and I'm just uh, excited to, to see it. And, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm truly flattered and honored that you'd even think to send me something, man. So uh, thank you. Well, I say thank you, and who knows? I might open it, and it's a bomb blows up, man. <laughs> I was like, I don't like that, dude. I sent him a bomb in a box. Make sure it's not ticking. No, I don't hear anything ticking in there. Should be good to go. All right. <laughs> you guys want to see what's in the box, huh? <laughs> All right, man. Let's see here. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Mr. Duggar, fishing. What's up, man? Big country catfishing. How you doing? All right. Mr. Raider Fan 12. How you doing, bro? It's a pair of reels. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. You guys make bets. See what's in there. Guate, what's up? Tarzan in the house. Morales, Texas fishing. You guys check out his channel. It's a good, good guy right there, man. Good guy. Where's Chunky? <laughs> I don't know, man. Where's Chunky at? Yeah. <laughs> this ain't no kids cam, man. Sorry, guy. Uh, let's see. Is it a real? I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys making guesses? I carry 4X and 3X hoodies. Yes, I do. One ton. Three from Owen Owensboro, Kentucky. Southern New Jersey, Richard, how you doing? Can't wait for the butte to get more water. Yeah, it's it's low, but there's still there's still plenty of water to fish, man. There, I mean, if you saw my post today, we caught we so today we caught 13 fish total. First fish of the day was 23 pounds, and then the, the ones in between were anywhere from three pounds to 10 10 pounds or so, and then the last fish of the day was a 32 pounder. So it was awesome. You want a cool cap? There's one right there. Check it out. Bam. All right, wait, wait. What was that? Over 100 viewers. Time to open the box. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. Oh, dang. I about fell out of this chair. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. You guys ready? Let me get a drum roll. <laughs> yeah, where are my moderators at? Take that guy out of here, man. I ain't going to kiss the camera. Sorry. Sam. Got a 4X Pantona and a medium chest. <laughs> a 4X Pantona and a medium chest. <laughs> oh, man. That's too funny, man. That's too funny. 4X, a 4 out circle. It's a little on the small side. I, I probably wouldn't go any smaller than a five. Like I said, right now I'm fishing with seven knots and I'm still catching. Like we just caught that 32 on the seven knot and we're, we're catching one, two, three, four, five pounders. Same thing, you know. Dominic, thank you, man. I hope you're doing well yourself. Happy New Year to all of you guys. I hope hope it's been treating you better than last year. <laughs> man, that guy's got all kinds of... Yeah, even with the name Hacker in it, huh? Yeah. 
Michael Murillo is on it. Thank you, Michael. Oh, man, let's see here. Drum roll. All right. All right, all right. Let's see here. We're going to start opening this box, guys. Uh, I guess I can angle this down in here so you can see what I'm doing here. What brand? What brand of hooks do I use? You know what? I'm actually in between brands. I'm looking for a good brand right here. Uh, yeah, I'm actually looking for a. I'm looking to switch hooks. Uh, believe it or not, I ordered a whole bunch of uh, Daiichis because of my buddy over there. He's all diehard Daiichi. Killer, long sleeve. I got these on my website, man. MuddyRiverCatfishing.com. Drum roll. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Angel, yeah, man. Uh, let me know. Just hit up my uh, hit up my page. Whisker Seeker has good hooks. I've never tried them. All right, let's see what's in here. You guys ready? <laughs> oh man, Katie Collins, how you doing? All right, a lot of packaging material. Man, stuff's gonna fly. Let me get a. Hold on. Let me get a bag. I get kicked out of my hotel room. Alright. <laughs> what were you guys what are you guys talking about over there? Alright, back at it. Let's see here. Rid of some of this stuff here. <laughs> Man, I'm having about as much fun watching this thing troll over here. Here, watch. I had the weekend, mo weekend angler as a moderator. Just need more moderators, huh? We'll take care of that guy. Mustad, Team Catfish are the best. Palmetto, what's up, man? We're doing a mystery box opening here. So we got a lot of packing material we got to get through here. All right. Oh, hey, speaking of Palmetto, uh, tomorrow we're going to do a big announcement. There's something going on with uh, me, Steve Douglas, uh, Dieter Melhorn, Chunky, Elstan, and Kevin from Palmetto. So you guys make sure to tune in to his live stream tomorrow. What time, t what time Palmetto? Put that on there. But it's, uh, yeah, it's something big that we've been working on, and we're all... All five of us are on board, and uh, I think you guys are going to be super, super happy about what we got going on. So, all right, I'm digging through this stuff here. Uh-oh, I see something. I see something here. like a letter in here. Oops, I ripped it. <laughs> it's taped on there. Hold on. I was going to try to pull the letter out, but I tore it a little bit. <laughs> the bucket calls. <laughs> hold on, man. Hold on. I'm getting there. Got to make some room. That's what Tim said. He's got to make some room, too. 
Eric, how's it going? Oh man. Alright, see if I got enough for this out of here, I can dig this out. Well, I could read that letter, I could read it to you. Alright, I'm going to read you guys this letter. You guys ready? It says, Dear Muddy River Catfishing, aka Chris Flores. Hey bud, just wanted to send you this in part of Outdoors Addiction. Uh-oh, Jesse. You had something to do with this, man? He asked me if I could make you a sign like the one Chunky Cat Fishing has. But yeah, he has not gave it a go. He's been slacking, he says. <laughs> it's times like these where everyone, every one of us are going through tough times out there in the world. So from the kindness of my heart, I took a leap of faith and just did it on, on, in part of him. He would love for you to have these. He's a good person and a kind friend. Thank you so much for everything you do for everyone and for being an icon in the catfishing community. Sincerely, Ricky, AKA Ricky's Creations. Man, that's awesome, man. That is awesome. That is fantastic. He says there's an on and off switch on the side. Just some details about the unit. Four light indicator, nice. No. Here. Don't break it. <laughs> Oh man, all right, let's get this thing out and see what it looks like. Ricky, you're awesome, man. You are awesome. Get some of this packaging stuff off. All right, that's what we got so far, guys. That's the note, that's the letter I just read you guys. Down. Move this out of the way. Man, this is awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's let's open this Got a remote control. That is too cool, man. That is too cool. Gotta be playing that song. It's Christmas all over again. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. <laughs> Hey, 
Yeah, I'm more excited about this bubble wrap, man. Don't be surprised if some of this goes out with some of you guys' fishing rod orders. <laughs> right. We're getting there, we're getting there. Thank you so much, man. That is, I, I don't even have words, man. That is super cool, dude. Super, super cool, man. Man. Yeah, I don't even know what to say, man. I'm gonna set this right here. I guess it goes this way so you get to reflect. <laughs> uh, light it up. Um, you were saying that. Let's see here. Can I light it up? Turn it on, he says. Turn it on. So I'm taking it this way here. No? There it is. <laughs> that is so cool. Hold on. Check that out, guys. <laughs> wow. Man. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That is awesome. You guys, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, Ricky. Uh, Jesse, you're a part of this too, man. Thank you so much. It's unbelievable. I, I'm, I'm honestly at a loss for words. That, that's such such an awesome gift you guys man yeah i won't forget that man i, I definitely appreciate that so much man that's so cool that is so cool man i'll sleep with that on man be my night light <laughs> oh man that is awesome 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 <laughs> oh man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh man, here we go with Mr. Troll in the house again, huh? <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. I appreciate all the support through all the years, man, of me doing this. I've had some followers that have just stuck with me through and through and um and you know as i continue to grow and meet new people and and uh, make more friends you know i think honestly being in in youtube uh it's it's made me so many more friends that i like i said i consider you guys friends that that i would have never ever met before um a lot of you guys I haven't met in person yet, but interacting with you guys through the internet, is, it's been amazing. And then some of you guys I've been lucky enough to meet in person and shake your hand and, and hang out and have a conversation or even go fishing with you guys. 
and it's just memories that that I'll, I'll never forget it I'll take with me to my grave and when I look back on my life uh, this is one of the biggest accomplish, accomplishments that I've ever done was uh, become a YouTube creator and help help the fishing community with, with what I do I've had I've had people come up to me and tell me stories of how my videos have impacted their lives or, or their or their connection with their kids or, or with their with their parents or you know somebody in, in in their life that they had lost connection with previously or they weren't close to but fishing and and my videos have helped bring people together stuff I would have never imagined you know I, when you start putting content out there you're just hoping that maybe somebody will watch or maybe they'll find it entertaining or maybe learn something but uh, but you know as it goes on and you start to see the impact that you you've made on a community and the friends and that you've acquired and uh, man yeah I'm, I'm forever grateful man for, for everything for all you guys um, this is this is so humbling man I, I never imagined I would have gotten something like that in the mail I didn't even wreck when I saw the package I thought it was something I had ordered and I just I was gonna set it aside, and when I picked it up, I saw the, the name on the box. I said, "Wait a minute! I didn't. I, oh, I didn't order anything." I said, "Okay, I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna open it on live stream." I'm glad I did. Troy Aguilar, how you doing? Danny, thank you, man. I th I appreciate that. Hercules, what's up, man? Well, yeah, I appreciate you guys jumping in here, man. Flat Rock, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Morales, Texas fishing. I enjoyed all your our fishing trips. Yeah, man, absolutely. I'm, I'm looking to having more. I want to get down there and fish with you on your little stretch of river right there. I think it's right up my alley. We'll find some big flatheads in there. I know they're in there. You've already hooked into some monsters. Mr. Duggar, thank you, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. Yep. Chris Morris. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. I'm glad you're out there fishing. Hope, hope I can go to Chicago. Thank you, man. Chamba. That would be awesome. Huh? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens, man. I want to travel more. I want to do. Uh, I want to do trips. All over, man. There's so much I want to do. For sure, I want to go to Tennessee. My daughter's over there now. Awesome, Kevin Palmetto Cats showing some love. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Tim Molina, yes, sir. I always love having you on the boat as well, man. David Gonzalez, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. That's a I'll cherish this gift forever, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you so much. Lee Evans, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Frank. I'm going to practice my arm wrestling, bro. See if I can get you. <laughs> we are, I couldn't even budge that guy, man. That guy is, he's a beast, bro. Daniel, yeah, I hear the the fishing is good over there. <laughs> Angel, hey, so let me tell you about that zote or the zote, however you want to say it, zote, zote, uh, soap as uh, as a bait. So yeah, as you know, I, when I started, I was doing a lot of bait testing and and uh, myth busting or whatever you want to call it. And one of the one of the one of the uh, one of the baits was soap, so I went out and I tested soap for three days straight, and I didn't get one single fish. And I went back to the same spot, not on video, but I went back to the same spot and I fished it with regular regular bait and caught some fish. So um, just kind of debunking that whole the soap really work. Now after I made the video, I started getting emails from guys from Mexico telling me that it did work so here's the back here's here's a little story that you guys didn't hear um, so they were telling me that soap does work 
where they're at. And the reason it works is because they have a they have a day where they do laundry in the river and they'll take the zote or the zote soap and the women will go to the river and they scrub and wash their clothes on the rocks on the on the river uh, along the riverbank. And as the chunks of soap break off and float down river, the catfish downstream are eating this ba- this soap. They're used to it. They they acknowledge it as as a food supply. So what the uh, Sam Martin thank or thank you, right on Chris Binwash. Thank you so much, man. Since the yo-yos, it's a long time. Thank you so much for that super chat, Sam. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's been a long time, man. So, anyways, the the soap floats downstream, and the catfish already know. Hey, it's Sunday. It's wash day. It's feeding day. They're waiting for that soap, and so the the men would go downstream and fish with pieces of soap, and they would catch catfish, and that's how that works, uh, which makes sense to. Another thing I was saying is the, uh, you know, match the hatch, feed, feed them what they're used to. So uh, it all kind of ties into that. When I took soap out to where I fish, they, it's, not, it's, it's not something they're used to eating, not something they're even familiar with at all. So they weren't as likely to eat that. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, it's always good to mix up, try something different, see what what bites you know what they're hitting maybe you can come up with a new bait but always keep in mind that whatever's in that water system is what they're eating every day that's what they're looking for that's what you're going to catch them on more likely than not so yeah uh josh hey thank you man uh appreciate you jumping in soap chum so if you want to make a soap chum I'll give you an idea, I'll give you a recipe. If you go down to your craft store, you could buy you could buy the stuff to make soap. And instead of adding um, lavender or whatever to make the soap smell nice and fresh, you add whatever scent you want. You can add chicken blood, you can add anise oil, you can add whatever you want to it uh, to make it have that scent and then it'll be a soap and as it's deteriorating it's releasing that scent one of the things that I wanted to do um, a while back is dehydrate chicken liver make it into a powder form and then put it into soap and make a bait like that which I'm sure it would work I just never did it Sean says he's been watching the videos a few years now and they're all awesome I remember the video used secret seven um, and they're used sudden impact fire bait yeah yeah, it was just a just a test video, and you know that was that was a while back. Oh, what was that? I saw something about carne asada. <laughs> Caught a catfish with carne asada. Heck yeah, man! Is the butte dried up? No, it's not dried up. It's very low, but it's not dried up. Um, there's still there's still plenty of water to get out there and mess around and stuff. It's if I had to guess, it's like maybe I don't know. 10%, 15% capacity or something like that. Chicken liver chum soap. There you go, Tim. <laughs> How wild. I remember that bait. There was one that I used to use when I was a kid. It was, uh, man, what was it? I can't remember the name of it. Jesus Reyes. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, it was a, I can't, I was like a Mr. Catfish or something like that. Calmetto wants me to do another chicken liver chum bait video, huh? I should make some up and come out here and throw it out. Do chum bait versus cup bait, see what happens. Just ordered a few of the team catfish fire baits. Anyone had any luck with them? I haven't used them. Um, I know team, I've used their uh, Secret 7 and it worked. I have a video on that modernize it he says creeping death remember that yeah Tim knows what's up man fishing magician yes I saw his order come through as a matter of fact I saw that when I was out I was out where was I who knows where I was but I saw the order come through his his rod will ship out Monday morning I'll pack that thing tomorrow when I get home 
But uh, yeah, thank you, man. Thank you for the for the support. If he's in there watching, yeah. Hopefully that uh, that rod will do him proud. Yeah. But anyways, guys. Yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for for the support throughout the years. Ricky, tuning in. Nice catfish frame light. Great job. Yes. Increased creations, man. That's awesome. Dallas, Texas. Let them hate bullies. Hold on a second, guys. So, sorry about that. Um, man, I miss Dallas. I miss all you guys in Dallas. I want. I've been. I've been really thinking about how to get back over there and go fishing it. Go Grapevine. I love Grapevine Lake, man. Lavon is awesome. Um, Tawakini, man. When is the next collab, collab with Luke? Man, that guy's so busy. Who knows where he's at? Um. Honestly, there's no telling. I'd have to fly out to his his part, his place. When uh, what are the legalities of taking guide service from out of state hours, etc.? So the state parks is shut to um, New Mexico. I mean, it to, is restricted to New Mexico residents only. So uh, unfortunately, I can't I can't pick up anybody that's out of state. And take them fishing. So yeah, until until something else happens or some some changes. Um, but there are other things. If you if you have more questions about it, I recommend you email me at chrisfloresfishing.com. It's K-R-I-S-F-L-O-R-E-S fishing at gmail.com. Anthony Moore, thank you so much, man, for that super chat. Hey, Chris, love the videos. If you get up to Tennessee, do you think you might collab with old Kayak Catfish? That'd be fun, man. He's a cool dude, man. Justin, I talked to him on the phone a few times, and uh, yeah, it'd be nice. It'd be nice to collab with him. Um, not sure if I'd be able to get out there or not, but I do plan to go to Tennessee sometime because my daughter moved over there. So I do want to get out there and, and visit her. She's in uh, Clarksville, Tennessee. Fernando Barasa, thank you for what you do for us, Chris. Your videos help me um, a lot. A well-deserved plaque. Hope you see your next video. Have a good night. Thank you, Fernando. I appreciate that very much, man. Catfish573, thank you, man. Thank you for that super chat. Congrats, dude. I'm going to get some of those blue and white rods. Just waiting on the right finances. Thank you for your support, man. I appreciate that very much. Let me know. I do my best to ship as soon as I can. There's times that I'll get, I'll ship in the morning. I'll get an order. I come back. I package it after work and ship it that same evening just so you guys get your stuff as soon as possible. I know how it, it stinks waiting for packages in the mail, so I want to make sure you guys get them as soon as possible. Yeah, you guys check out Ricky's Creations, man. That guy, I mean, you can see what he did right there, man. That's so awesome. That is awesome. I'm going to have to package it all up again real nice and neat so I can get it home. Find a find an awesome spot for it. What's the name of the new rod? It's going to be the catfish rod. The catfish rod. I've been using them. I've been using them. I like them. I like them. They're, they're a lot... They're a lot softer than the than the flathead and the blue cap, but they still have that backbone. Um, I'm so used to fishing with the uh, with the heavier rods that when we get a fish on and I see that bow, I'm I'm thinking it's a bigger fish than when it what it really is. So it's really just doing what it's designed to do, and I'm I'm very happy with that. So hopefully uh, hopefully those will those will be in next month, I guess, and. Uh, you guys, uh, I'll put them up on the website as soon as possible. 
bank rod holders. I don't do rod holders, man. Uh, I don't know if you're asking me or not, but uh, Steve Douglas is the guy I talked to about rod holders. He's got that. Uh, he's got that. Uh, I forgot what what he calls it, but it's it's one with the with the triple spike that goes in the ground. And it's got a little like a little T bar. You can put up to three rod holders on it. J Dog in the house. What's up, man? Hunter, what is your record channel catfish? You know what? I think I think the biggest channel cat I've ever pulled out around here is maybe like 10 pounds. I remember pulling them out and looking at them like, man, that's a that's a really big cat, a channel cat for this area. I remember pulling out a bullhead that was, if I had to guess, that bullhead was probably three and a half, maybe four pounds, and I was thinking, man, that's probably a record. I, I don't even. Every bullhead I've ever seen is little bitty, you know. Desert State Line Anglers, what's going on, man? Just out here hanging out in my hotel room. But, uh, yeah, that, that bullhead was pretty big. But I guess we don't have bullhead records in New Mexico, so. Fishing with the Chad, you like that, huh? Oh, Ricky's Creations, man, hooked it up. But, uh, all right, guys, um, my count's going down, which is uh, rightfully so. We were here to open up the box. 30-plus channel cats, man. That's a, that's a big old channel cat. I bet they fight like a freight train. Yeah, I'm going to jump off here. Qatar, Douglas, man. Wow, all the way from Qatar. Are you the one who told me that uh, that my son's our story was in the paper over there in Qatar. That was, uh, that was already a, over a year ago in November when my son caught that 42 pounder here and it made, it made, I don't know, I thought it was coast to coast and then somebody was emailing me from Qatar saying that I was in the, that my son was in the paper. <laughs> so yeah, it was Douglas, man. That's awesome, man. That is crazy. Crazy how the, how the internet works. When I did that, we had caught that fish, and I still had the old school mindset. You know, I, I reached out to the newspaper, and I thought, you know, it'd be cool to get my son's picture in the paper with his fish, you know, and get it cut out and put it on the fridge or laminated and keep it, you know, as a little, little something. You know, you get your, your picture in the paper, and everything's good to go. And now it, everything's internet now, so uh, it was it was on the website of our local paper. Then the 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 big city down from us picked it up and the Albuquerque Journal picked it up and then next thing you know I had people from like Michigan and Georgia calling me and Tennessee hey your son's on our local news man uh he made the New York Times he made the Washington Post he it was insane man insane Alex we're talking about you he's in the chat right now I call him Mr. 42 I called him up today I said hey guess what says, what's that dad so we caught a 32 pound fish today. He goes, eh. <laughs> oh man, one of these days, Alex, we're gonna get that 42. We're gonna break that 42 record you got. <laughs> uh, JP Slayer, man, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Ricky's awesome, huh? <laughs> All right, Guate, have a good night. Thank you for jumping in. But yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to do that, uh, that uh, unboxing and uh, tell you guys thank you for everything, for all the support through all these years here. And I guess April, huh? it'll be, what, I don't know, nine years? Something like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Man, eh, so what, Dad? <laughs> it's not bigger than mine. <laughs> but uh, I always get a kick out of that. One of my favorite stories, too, is that um, and not to try to sound conceited or anything, but it's just the fact of the nature of the beast. Yeah, I get a lot of people who recognize me from my YouTube channel, you know, and, and I can kind of spot these guys because they they start looking at me and, you know, they're not sure to approach me or not or, you know, and then you know, they'll come up and say, hey, you're Muddy River Catfishing, I watch your videos, you know, and we chit-chat for a while and stuff. And uh, so uh, <laughs> one day after all that happened, Alex caught that fish and everything and, um, I was I was getting gas. I was up at the lake. I was getting gas, 
and I saw a guy at the gas station. He was walking. He was gonna walk into the store, and he stopped. And he looked back at me. He looked at the boat, and then he started talking to his wife and pointing at me and pointing at the boat. And I said, "Oh yeah, he's recognizing me from the videos. He, he'll probably come up and say hi and whatnot." So uh, yeah, sure enough, he starts making his way to me, and he walks up, and he goes, "Hey, aren't you?" And in my mind, I was already, yeah, Muddy River catfishing, yeah. He's like, aren't you Alex's dad? <laughs> the kid that caught that 42-pound fish? I was like, oh. I go, yeah, that's me. I'm Alex's dad. <laughs> so I went from the Muddy River guy to Alex's dad. Yep. But yeah, proud moment. My nine-year-old catching that big fish. And he's already going to be 11 here pretty soon. That's so awesome. <laughs> oh man but alright guys I gotta jump off of here I'm gonna get something to eat hit the shower, relax and uh, call it a night but uh, if anybody's going live tonight or whatever I'll probably jump in there and check it out what'd you say there Jesse uh, hey thank you man thank you thank you I, I appreciate your live streams man I'm ready to see this ice fishing stuff you're talking about Yep. Has life is alive. I'm going to go check it out. Desert State Line Anglers, good night, man. So, once again, guys, thank you so much for the support. Ricky's Creations, Jesse, uh, you guys check out Outdoors Addiction, man. He's, he's a good guy. Real good guy. We always have a good time chatting when he's, when he's live. And, of course, uh, show Ricky's Creations some love and support there for making that awesome, awesome sign. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.